be an overcomer. You're going to change the world. So right away, your mind's starting to conjure up and think of scenarios, and you're picturing how this is going to go. And you're seeing how you're going to go out and tell your story, and there's going to be like this immediate thing that's going to happen. It ain't going to happen that way. <laughs> Whatever it is you're thinking right now, whatever it is you're picturing in your mind. By the way, I'm not trying to talk you out of picturing it. I'm not trying to talk you out of dreaming and vision and envisioning how it could go or how it might go. But what I am going to tell you is it's not going to happen that way. How do I know that? Because nothing has ever happened the way I pictured it. Amen? How many times have you envisioned something? You're starting a new business. You have a vision for it. You have an idea of what you want it to look like. And, and even already, you just are getting started. And, and when, it first, when you first had the idea, you had this picture of what it would be like in your mind. I don't know what it was, but you knew what it was. You had it. it you saw it before, it before it was ever drawn up or anything. You had a, a picture. But it doesn't look anything like that first picture that you have. It, it already has changed. Well, that's it. Think about your life. How many times have you envisioned something and pictured what it was going to be like? Whether it was a big or a small thing. Might have just been you were going on a picnic. And you had this idea, well, we're going to have this picnic and it's going to be this and it's going to be that. Only for it to be something totally different. Most of the time it wasn't as good as what you pictured. <laughs> oh, am I right? I mean, that's the way it is for me. Most things don't go. Nothing goes like I expected it to. Most of the time, it's worse. Every once in a great while, something goes better, but most of the time, it just, it just things go differently. After a while, you get old enough that you, you learn to live with that. And you sort of expect it to not go like you wanted it to. Well, I'm telling you right now, when you tell your story, when you, when you share your testimony, when you speak the word of your testimony, and you plead the blood of Jesus, and you, and you do it all right. I'm, not ta I'm, I'm, I'm saying everything you do is right according to the Bible, and everything you do is, is uh, perfectly appropriate, and then you don't get the response you expected it. It's no big deal. Go to the next one. Remember this? SW, SW, SW. Yes. Some will. Some won't. So what? Next. Yeah. I may be dead five years. Someone I talk to, all of yeah. a sudden, it's going to hit him in the head and so, say, he was right. Mm -hmm. Yep. But I'm telling you this. Read about the overcomers. Read the promises. Read the stories of those seven churches in Revelation chapter 2 and, verse, and chapter 3. Read about what those churches were facing. The persecution, the, 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 the corruption, the, the, the society that they lived in. It's the same stuff we're facing today. But then read about the promises in every seven different times. Seven different promises. Seven different things God said to him who overcomes. To him who overcomes. God's given you what you need today. And he's calling you to speak the word of your testimony. To be an overcomer. Holy Spirit, thank you for this word today.